Hi hello everyone and welcome back to Niche! We're back on the uh, jungle island which we literally just got to which is why we are on the port right now and we have our wonderful little creatures who are uh, coming with us um, I think what was it? I think Chase was going to stay behind because he's getting quite old we're not sure. It depends on how long uh, it takes each one of them to, or it takes all of them to get to the next island. So let's have Polar and Callie. I, they can breed now. It's not going to um, affect us at all if they do get uh, pregnant. So we might as well just get the females pregnant with the um, mate we did originally choose for them. And Chip, Hugo, and Spix all have the exact same mate, which is Sky, and she's currently pregnant with a um, Barina baby. I think Blossom is pregnant with um, was it Zeus? Maybe Zeus, or it was Callie's brother. I can't remember who it was now. Um, but so I think all the females are pregnant right now. They should be at least, um, and I'm hoping that nothing falls on their heads while they're underneath that palm tree so the plan is basically just to move them to the next island as quick as possible hang on a minute how many ports does this one have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen they can have a couple babies here actually this could be like a small pit stop for them while they have their babies but i'm going to keep them close to the um port anyway so the babies can jump uh into the port when they are ready uh, quick, let's get you guys over. So if they have a baby that we don't particularly want to take with us, um, we do have the option to leave them behind. Which hopefully won't happen, but we have the space for... F gosh, five more creatures. And uh, Chase is going to pass away very soon, so I think that we should get his mates to probably um, give birth before we leave anyway. So let's let's get them all. Oh yes, berry bushes. Yes, we need to eat, uh, pick a bunch of berries while we are here. Let's get Sky over there. She's already on the port. Cool. We found another berry bush. Good. This is great. Small small pit stop before anything terrible happens to us. Um, grab her over there. I don't like the noises, but. We should be fine. So let's get Simi over there as well. Um, it's hot, so I think they all have less um, move spaces, I believe. Let's get Blossom over. Who's Blossom's mate? Uh, yeah, Polar. Get them all over. They've all got quite a lot of age on them anyway. Um, Chip. Oh yeah, I forgot. Chip is the only one that we need to name, so Chip is Chip. This is Chip. Hello, Chip. <laughs> um... Let's get the guys over there as well. There. And then hopefully we won't have anything bad happen to us while we're here. And there's rain happening. This is great. Uh, Polar and Callie. Oh, Callie's getting older. I'm just trying to figure out how old each one of them are to see which ones do need to have their babies. We can get, we can get Skye to have her baby here. She'll have her baby there. Who got um, a leech? You did. Um, and then Simi and... Who was it? Simi and Zoe um, have Chase as their mate. And he's going to pass away very soon. So I think we'll have them to have their babies uh, right there. Right next to the port. So that we can make sure that we take only the best, best children with us. Uh, how many... How many do we have pregnant right now? We have one, two, three. Um, okay. So Chase will be left behind then. We just need to make sure that we pick all of these berries. Are there any berry bushes nearby? I know that thing's there, but I don't know what it does. It's green right now. So what if I did that? Does it- can you pick berries from it? Can you, like, get stuff from it? Oh, you can! Cool! I know there are bad um, versions of that thing, whatever it is. Um, 
What is that? Oh, that's a regeneration bush if they've been hurt. Oh, speaking of, let's get Chip. Uh, that leech off of Chip. And then that's everyone, I think. Hopefully nothing comes up the bushes right now, because that would be terrifying. Um, we can have a look at our little babies now. Okay, so this is this is Chase's and uh, Simi's son. He's not perfect. What genes do we need from him? Chase, we needed the eye gene, I believe. Is he the only one with the eye gene? Oh no, Sky and uh, this new baby have it, so we're not too bad. Right. Then we have Sky's baby, and she has poison fangs. She has all of the Berina traits because she's a Berina child, obviously. And she has ING. Good. Then we have, oh yes, he has the Savannah Horns. He's double poison fangs, which I think they both were anyway. Um, so I think we'll have um, Zoe and Simi meet back up with Chase again. And hopefully they can breed in uh, more of them. How long does Chase have left? Okay, he has two days left. So he's got um, today and the next call. So they're all pregnant now. Let's have a sniff. Nothing's around? Cool. Good. And then they can have their babies... Um, Well, they can have their babies on the next island, actually. If we're going to leave him behind... That means Blossom could probably have her baby here. Um, it depends on what we're going to be doing. Let's just... Um, we can have a Sky have a baby with one of these guys over here. She has double poison fangs, so I'm hoping that, that means that she can um, get those double poison fangs into any of these males we have. They all have those big ears. Let's have a look. Who else has the big ears? I wasn't really paying attention to these. Oh, Blossom has it. Hugo has it, Chip has it, and Spix has it. Apparently Willow had it as well. Where did Willow get that from? Oh no, she didn't. <laughs> oh my god. No, he did. This guy did. But where did Blossom get it from? Oh, both of the um, rogue males that we mated with, both of the two wanderers we mated with had them. I didn't realise that. But because they both had um, derp snout. Is it derp snout? Yes. They, um, they were hiding those uh, big ears from us. So I had no clue that we had so many creatures with the um, big ear gene. Um, I've already forgotten who the other one was. Blossom was it. Blossom... Blossom is the one that had it. But then all three of these males have them as well. Um, and I don't know who I'm going to breed with first. Who is the oldest? Chip is the youngest. Spix is the oldest. So I think we'll breed with him first. Make sure that we get at least one of his babies uh, in there. He needs to have... We'll, we'll give him the Berina Claw to pass on. Hopefully that replaces his uh, no paw, or deformed paw. And then I wish we had big body to mutate in, but we don't. We need to spend more time in the hot climate, which we which we haven't done yet. What does Sky have? She should probably have some savannah horns in there. We'll give Spix the savannah horns as well. Give him them. And then what else could Sky give off? Sky could give anything pretty much she can give the stripe gene let's 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 throw that back in i think we've been losing that one quite quite recently yes cool so let's breed her with spix we'll go with that and then maybe we could just there's no point in really trying to stay here just for the um oh no the baby got a leech i didn't realize that yeah, just for the um, the babies to hop on over. We'll have them in the next island anyway. There's nothing wrong with these babies. We'll definitely take them over anyway. And he has the star gene as well, which is good. I, I really like this guy. He probably will be another one of the breeders that we breed in because he is awesome. I like him a lot. 
He looks a lot like the Chase, actually. Does he have... He just had purple eyes, which is really cool. Yeah, so Hugo... I don't know, let's break the nest. Let's break the nest. There's no point in the nest being there. And then Chip can just move somewhere. Right, hopefully nothing comes over as a threat. Nope, cool. Chase is last day today. And then I think I'm just going to get everyone on the port. Um, and try and leave the island this time. Hopefully everyone can get on. But yeah, there's no point in um, keeping them there just to have babies on the edge of the port anyway. So let's get Panda along. I did really want to collect more from those bushes, but... Nope. <gasps> Quick, get back on the port. Okay. And then we just have Callie to get on the port. There we go. Can you try and get rid of that? Nope. Okay. Now everyone's on the port apart from Chase. It's his last day though. Oh, we should have just brought him anyway. But we can't. It's, it's his last day. If we leave him here, he's going to die next round. If we stay here next round, he's going to die. So there's no point in, in waiting for him. So let's go. Let's travel. Let's take him with us. Take all of these guys with us. Oh my gosh, we're on a whale. We're on a whale. Look at that. We are on a whale. <laughs> I believe that's his little, um, what is it, blowhole? Where they like blow the water from? Um, I'm pretty sure that they do blow water from that one uh, quite often, actually. So, let's get our pregnant females on to the island. Let's get them all to have a little nesty nests. Get all the nests up. Try and um, clear some path. <gasps> yes, okay, we found a berry bush already. Cool. And I believe these islands have quite a bit of rabbits on them. As far as I'm aware, I've seen tons of rabbits on these islands um, whenever I've been on them. But I think there's also some birds, so we want to make sure that we protect all the babies as well. But the babies, the babies are alright right now because there's no actual bird on the island right now. Oh, she needs to uh, make a nest as well. So we just need to wait for Callie and Skye to, like, to put their nests down next. What was that? Did you hear that? That was crazy. Okay. Oh, we've got poison bush, po poison berry bushes, which is fine. We've got the poison fangs in, so we should be great. Who is this little baby we have here? <gasps> a double poison fang baby. Yes, thank you so much, Chase. You have given us a double poison fang baby from Simi. Um, she's great. She's got the I gene and the H gene. Then we have a little baby boy who's also double poison fang. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, he's got the savannah horns, he's got the berina claw, he's got the um, berina hind legs, and he is also Chase's son. Then we have this baby here. Ah, okay. He's Spix's son, and he doesn't have a uh, no paw, which is great. He has the savannah horns, he doesn't have double poison fangs, but um, hopefully we can get through that. I want to make sure that when all the babies are born, um, we do end up having. Um, every single gene in our gene pool but right now we need to oh wait no he's not Spix's son is he he's not he's definitely not he's he's Zeus's son oh yes of course he's not Spix's son Sky has got Spix's son uh, or baby in her so we'll have to uh, have her nest up here and then we'll get Chip to follow around make sure she's okay because she's um, his mate as well. We'll have Spix come over. Oh yes, we've got a full berry bush. Perfect. Um, and then Zoe and Simi don't have mates anymore because Chase has passed away. I don't know if they can breed with anyone else, but they have passed on their genes that they needed, didn't they? E though. The E gene, I don't think Simi ever passed on. No, Simi didn't pass on the E gene, so she needs to definitely breed with somebody else. H and E. I don't think she could breed with anyone else that was, um, oh no. She can breed with some of these males that don't have little poison fangs. But if she lives, if she survives long enough, she could probably breed with, um, this boy. I don't know if, please tell me he's not her son. No, he's not her son. He, she could breed with him, maybe. Um, 
try and get that E gene in. She's got eight days left, so she should she should have a while um, to live anyway. Um, so hopefully we'll 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 keep him there. We'll give him the uh, pink stone that his dad had. But we just need to make sure that Zoe does not have that one anymore. There we go. So they still have their sort of mate um, action point thingies. Callie, who was your uh, mate? Panda. Panda was her mate. So she definitely needs to move up and then she'll have a baby here. Right on the edge. Right on the edge. Are Callie and Zoe sisters? Yes, they are. Okay. I wanted to make sure that they were like full-blooded sisters. I couldn't remember if they were or not. Uh, Blossom can come over and brood with pa uh, No, not Panda. His name isn't Panda. His name is Polar. <laughs> I always... Uh, Panda. Why is it Panda? That's his grandfather. Um, and then we'll wait for this nest to come free. And then Zoe... Zoe, what was your... You need to pass on Star. And you definitely have at least once. Yes, we have a little boy with it. We also have Hugo and Chip, which hopefully should pass that on as well. But I think Zoe has done her job. And she's had... She's had three babies on the island already, so I think she's okay to stop breeding now anyway. So I'll, I'll get rid of her nest, and she can just stay looking after her son right now. Uh, then we've got this one. Let's keep him, her going. Let's keep this one going. That's everyone. Yay! Oh my gosh! Right, let's have a look at the new babies that were born this time. Oh my gosh! Wait, he looks like an inverted panda. That's so cute. Um, he has no horns. Do we not give Callie the horn gene? No, we didn't. We definitely need to add that in then. The Savannah horns and double poison fang we wanted to add in as well. He's double poison fang though, which is great. He's got the A and D gene. Um, and those hind legs. He's also got the peacock tail and his inactive genes, which is going to be really cool to see actually come through. So that's a super fun thing to um, have in there. I wonder where the melanistic gene went. Because I know we definitely have some babies from... Oh wait. We... Yes, it's these guys. These guys do. So all these males have the melanistic trait. Which might come through soon. Sometime. But at the moment it's only the males that have it. So obviously it can't come through very soon. Uh, then we have this baby over here. He's very stripy. Very stripy. Um, he is the son of Spix, is it? Uh, I think he's- yeah, he's Spix's son, so he doesn't have the no, deformed paw. He has double poison fangs, which is surprising to me. Uh, but that's really cool. So Sky has had Spix's son, then she needs to have Hugo's son, because he is the next oldest. So he will come over um and then wait for there we go i want to make sure that we've got every single um new gene in the next generation so we've got these two with the a gene so that's perfect the b gene we don't have so far but hopefully it should come through soon who has the c gene hugo and he hasn't bred yet so wait who has the b gene as well zeus did and Callie does Callie's not done with breeding yet, so Callie should be okay to keep going. Uh, the C gene, we've already said. The D gene, we do have, thankfully. The E gene, we don't have, which is why we're going to breed a Simi again. And then we've got the F gene, which Blossom has, but she hasn't passed on just yet. But she and Panda should have more children. Um, or she and Panda together should have a child, so we should be fine with that. Then the G gene we've got two of, which is perfect. The H gene we have uh, one of, or is that... No, we have two of, I forgot these two were part of it as well. It's weird, because Spix is all the way down here. Um, so the H gene is fine. The I gene we've got a ton of. The star gene we've got at least one of. And then the K gene we have one of. Good! So we almost, almost um, got every single one of the next generation to have those genes in with them. It's going to be really difficult to like maintain all those genes. 
And I wouldn't be surprised if we lost some very soon, because it is very difficult to keep all of those genes uh, in our group with us. We're losing out on a lot of berries right now. So we definitely need to stop breeding soon. Because <laughs> otherwise we're going to very much overpopulate the island and we're not going to have enough berries. So she she just had him. We'll have Panda come over. And she's already pregnant with She's already pregnant with uh, Panda's baby, so she doesn't like, need to get pregnant again, but Callie does, so we'll get her and him to meet each other in the middle. And then hopefully by the time we get over here, we can we can have all the double poison fanged creatures collect all of these poison fang, uh, poison berries, and life will be good again. We can collect, we can stay on this island, because I don't think this island is very dangerous. I think this island is a very good like pit stop to try and regain our... Um, our berries count again. Let's next day. But yeah, so as of right now, we're just trying to breed in all of these different uh, genes in again. So no one's had a baby to this round, have they? No. Okay. Let's get rid of this um, nest. Oh, I just got rid of that bush by accident. Okay. Well, we're moving on forward anyway, so it's fine. So we're gonna move up. Move on up. Try and get to the open area so it's not covered in all this grass. We'll try and get to all of these different uh, rabbit hills and all of these different berry bushes and hopefully we can keep gaining some berries. And it looks like our next island is another jungle island. And I think it has 15 ports actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh yeah, 15. I just counted it wrong. But yeah, 15 ports definitely for that one. What is that? I'm sure that must be the blowhole, but I thought that was the blowhole. So now I'm confused. I'm hoping that's the blowhole because otherwise I'm very confused. And that's something. Okay, yeah. So I think I want to let this, um, these guys just pick all these berries quickly. Get them to move up. Let's have Blossom have a baby there. We'll have Callie move up. Hugo and Sky are having a baby, so she can move up there. Oh, I move into this permanent nest, and then Hugo can come over and watch over her. Then Spix, pick up a couple of berries and then you can head up there as well. And you can start uh, looking for more berry bushes. And Chip, you can do the same because Chip is going to have a baby with Sky very soon. And then let's just get these guys to move up too because they're very young. One, two, he runs fast. <laughs> Um, he can run up there too. You can just get rid of that um, nest and then you can move up there too. Is that everyone? Yes. Okay, so we've had a lot of babies this time. But I think I'm going to end this one here. And then next time we can explore the rest of the island. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.